Speaking of the deadline, with the trade deadline creeping closer, the Mets could be sellers, they could be buyers, they could stand pat. We don't know as of right now. But at this point, Jeff, where do you think the front office stands as far as buying or selling? I think it's pretty clear that they're going to be selling, right? I mean, I think the hope coming out all-star break is maybe if you somehow go on some crazy run and get back into it, you have to reevaluate. But short of that, which is already off to, to a tough start from this weekend, um, you really got to look at how you can um, recoup some uh, or build some capital in the prospect system. Um, you know, the Mets have a lot of veteran players that can help other teams. I mean, we, we just talked about Robertson. I mean, he's going to be a free agent after this year. So this is where you can make similar move to the Yankees did uh, a few years back where you can maybe trade Robertson, get something of value back. And then if you want him, you could re-sign him in the, in the off season. Um, oh. It's a little bit trickier with Scherzer and Verlander because of their no trade clauses and the size right. of their contracts. Um, I think Scherzer would be much more likely than Verlander because, you know, he only has the one uh, player option versus mm. Verlander has a vesting yeah. option, you know, two years ahead. Um, but yeah, I, I think they absolutely have to sell. I'm a little concerned that, you know, the, the current GM is the one that would make these mm. decisions that could have long-term impacts. Um, but we can put that aside for now. But I, in terms of the, your question, I think they definitely have to be selling. Yeah. So Jeff mentioned Robertson, but some other obvious choices would be Tommy Pham, even Mark Canna. Brian, what do you expect them to get in return for one or three of these guys? That's the thing I'm not really too sure about. You know, last year, David Robertson was in a similar position with the Cubs. He was pitching well. All they got back was the 26th ring prospect in the Philly system. So there's a lot of relievers who are going to be available at this deadline. Like every deadline, I don't know how much you get back for him. I don't know how much you get back for Mark Hanna or Tommy Pham. You look at the return they got for Eduardo Escobar. I wouldn't expect much more for those guys. Like if you can get one pitcher to slot in at the back end of your top 10 in your farm system, that might be the best they can do here. Max Scherzer is the one interesting one. If they ate all the contract and if he pitches really well in his last two starts before the deadline, maybe you can get something in return. But as Jeff mentioned there, other teams have to weigh the fact that he's probably going to opt into $43 million and how many teams have the yeah. stomach to take that on next year. <laughs>